I was running marathons and um, every time I'd get to mile 20 and I'd be like just full body cramp. I mean, I'd run out of glycogen for sure. And I you know, interested. So we had a, a resident name is Dr. Mike Nanasco. He's an ultramarathon. And he gave me a book called um, Low Carbohydrate Living for the Performance Athlete by Volek and Finney. He gave me that book. And it was like, wow, this is so interesting. So I literally started changing. And I was a guy who was completely carb addicted. I was, I, it, three hours would go by. I needed a snack. I needed something bad. I mean, it was just like I was starving. And then, and then to change and to become fat adapted to where you have this baseline metabolic rate, you don't even know what your body switches over and your fat gets utilized, you produce energy, and then it increases this threshold of energy. And I would have my, my you know, my little Garmin watch or, you know, Apple watch, whatever. And I'd take my times back and forth on my commutes to the hospital and I was faster and I felt better. I was like, wow, this is incredible. Then I'd, you know, run a marathon and instead of, you know, it's a long story on that. I wish it was a beautiful ending, but I still had trouble teetering and knowing, but I'm absolutely convinced I would recover much faster and I'd be better at it. But it is exercise physiology. There's all this stuff that really plays into it. And they found that the, it's a super interesting science to figure out your own body and what makes it run better. Everyone's different. Everyone has little different genetics. Everyone has different aptitudes for, for doing stuff. But as my wife, she's a dietitian, right? And so she takes she was listening to podcasts at night and you know during dinner and i'd listen to her and stuff and i'd say is that true 